Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megha Narang and in today's video I am going to share with you how we can show which filters are applied on your dashboard in Tableau. Adding this capability can be useful in situations when you have multiple filters or when you have multi-select filters on your dashboard. It can help users to have a quick look at all the filters applied on your dashboard. We have a use case here wherein the data that we are using is sample superstore data and what we are looking as, at is monthly sales trend by year 2022. We, the year filter we have is single select filter. We can choose from the options that are given here. We can also see the trend by category, subcategory and product name. All the other filters are multi-select filters and currently all of them are applied. Now if the user wants to have a quick look at which all filters among these multi-select filters are applied, we can click on the show applied filters option and see as of now all of them are applied. Now if I let's say just select only a few options from subcategory and uh, would want to see the sales trend of only those subcategories and apply the filter, you would see the information has changed here and currently the categories that are selected are all based on the subcategories that you have selected for your sales trend as well as the product names that are associated with those subcategories. The same is the situation when you apply, let's say, only out of the available product names that you have, you select only one product name. Again, your filter options would change here. Here, the subcategory associated with that product as well as category associated with that product. And the option that I am giving here uh, through which the user would be able to see these applied and uh, applied filters is through show hide button that's the feature that we have in Tableau it's totally up to you how do you want to represent your information I have uh, used the show hide button you can use something else but the key thing that I wanted to focus today was on how these uh, how you would be able to see which filter options are selected on Tableau when you select a particular filter now without further ado, let me show you how you can add this capability on your Tableau dashboards. So here we have our sample superstore data and the first thing that we will do is quickly create monthly sales trend chart. For that, I will drag sales on rows and order date on column shelf. And I'll select month here. Also, I'll drag order date on filter shelf and select years. As of now, I will select year as 2022 and show filter. And I'll make it as single select drop down. I also don't want to see all here so I would just remove show all values from customize so we have our sales trend chart ready apart from that we also wanted to see the sales trend by category subcategory as well as product name so what I'll do is I will drag category on filter shelf as of now, I'll select all. I'll drag, drag subcategory again on filter shelf and select all. And the last one is product name. Now, the next step that we need to do is we will add all these filters to context. And the reason we are adding these filters to context is because we would want to use it in our, in our filter sheet as well. Now once the sales trend chart is ready, we would need to do a little bit of formatting but we will take care of that later. And the next step that we would move to is 
having those filter sheet created now in order to see which all options are selected in your filters you would have to create separate sheets for each of the filters that you would want to show the information for for example let's start with the product name let me first rename this sheet so that it is easier for reference And now we'll start with product name filters. Again, I'll rename this sheet. The very first calculation that we have to write is to count the distinct number of product names. For us to do that, we'll create a calculated field and count distinct product name why we have added it in uh, LOD calculation is because we would want to get this particular calculation into a parameter now let me add this and name it as c dot product as I said we would need to create a parameter so the next step for us would be to create a parameter. I would use this calculation and just select parameters. And now you would see that this is, we already have the min and max here, but I, instead of this, I would want to uh, select an option when workbook opens. And I would select the calculation that we have just now created, which is C dot product name count. Now what this would do is basically whenever your workbook opens, let's say your data source gets refreshed and the number of counts of product name that we have we had in our data source has changed. The option when workbook opens would take care of that. Let me rename this as something else p dot uh, product name count select okay the third calculation that we would need to create for us to get all the filters that we need we have applied is now we'll bring both the calculations together that is the calculation that we have created to know the counts as well as the parameter that we have created so if again we'll use the LOD calculation here if fixed count distinct of product names close the curly braces equals p dot product name count then the tableau would show all otherwise it will show selected product name we may call this as selected product now what we would need to do is drag this and add it on row shelf and what I usually do um, to remove this ABC I instead of having automatic in marks card I just select polygon and it takes care of uh, those ABC if we don't need just a small change here uh, we have select product name as our calculated field name I would rename it as selected product name because this is the title that I would be using for this particular filter. Next step we need to take is go to our monthly sales or sales trend chart. Here we can see all these filters on our filter shelf, category, product name and subcategory. What we would do is apply it to the sheet that we have just now created that is product name filters sheet and we are doing this because we would want to uh, these filters to be linked to each other 
and the adding them to the other worksheet also or all these filter worksheets would take care of that once we have our product filter ready let's check if it's working or not we have currently all the filter product names selected and that is the reason we see all but let me just select only a few of them and see if it works yes we only see the selected filters or selected product names here that means it's working as it should similar to product name filter sheet we would be doing the same we would be creating the other two sheets for category as well as subcategory and once we have all the four worksheets ready that is monthly sales trend product name filters category filters and subcategory filters then next step for us would be to go to the dashboard and assemble or put together all these worksheets in up on our dashboard let's use our existing dashboard that i had showed earlier as an example in our use case because we have all the worksheets ready there so here the first step for me to see is how many containers i would need and what kind so I would need one horizontal container for adding my filters coming from monthly sales chart. Mm -hmm. Then I would need again a horizontal container for my monthly sales chart itself. And then I'll need one vertical container to add the filter sheet. So let me drag my monthly sales chart on a container shift plus drag I have my monthly sales trend and I'll bring in all the filters that I have that is year of order date then I would need category subcategory as well as product name you will see these filters are automatically added on the container that we had and let's see we need single select here no all yeah we would need all the other filters to be multi-select drop down that's done the next step for me is to bring in all these sheets in a container again we had this vertical container for that so let's start moving our sheets there category subcategory and product name I'll move all my sheets and my entire container along with this monthly sales trend and then I'll bring in one more container that could be tiled as well but let's just before that let's add show hide button and this show hide button I'm going to add on the products filter now the next step for me would be to bring in one more vertical container and I'll be dragging all my sheets in that container. Yeah. I would need one more sheet or Text this is strength. And now I have everything in one place. You just drag this entirely and put it in the shift and drag. Now these are all in the entire dashboard. 
Let's check if it's working as it should. Here you can see this image. We can change it to text as well, like I showed in my example earlier. So item shown, then it's and we can add text as close. And this is how you show applied filters on your Tableau dashboard. After doing quick formatting, you would this is how your dashboard would look like, and you would have show applied filters and height filters option as well. Hope you find this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to put it in the comments section. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.